Shalom Aleichem, sweet souls, Baruch Hashem, and we're very thankful to Hashem for allowing us to to think about Him, to think about the Creator, to try to understand what's going on in this world, and to try to to find the purpose of our existence, the reason for our living, and people that are searching for the truth are the ones that are able to reveal it and to to make it accessible for others. And we must as well, while desiring and hoping for the truth, to appreciate the fact that we are one of those amazing soldiers that are fighting the wars of Hashem. And it's important for us to understand, if inside of you there is a flame of fire, there is a great passion, there is a, a dream, there is a, a great purpose that you must you must do, you must learn Torah, you must come to visit the Holy Land of Israel, you must pray, you must do it Buddha do it, you want to know who you are, what the truth is. If if you feel that some spark is flaming in great fire inside of you, you should know that it means only one thing, that you have a soul and that the power of your soul is shining above the darkness of the physicality of your body. And that is something very precious, very important that we should focus on, that we should pay attention to. That inside of us there is a godly soul. And that soul is being expressed with good will, with holy desires, with amazing passion for good things. When you are after the Torah, after the tefillah, after the, the land of Israel, after finding another Israeli soul, Jewish soul, that you see a person with tefillin or a person that keeps Shabbat or wearing tzitzit and it's a source of inspiration for you. you. say like, oh man, wow, look at this, look at that. Where those feelings are coming from, if not from a highly source, holy, godly source of, of your soul that is reflecting inner joy of our Maker, um, from us while we're being observant and following the rules of the Torah and the commandments of the Bible and the sages. So when you find that thing inside of yourself, you must appreciate it. I have a friend that is not sure about his Judaism. And all the time in our conversation, he's telling me, I don't know, maybe I'm Jewish, maybe I'm not Jewish. They have some evidence to, for their Judaism and on. And I told him, you know, a non-Jewish person does not bang his head to the wall all day long to, to ask himself, maybe I'm Jewish, if I am Jewish, if I'm not Jewish. Like those thoughts not concerning no person that does not have a spark of a Jewish soul within him. Only a Jew will ask himself, if I am proper to be called a Jew, am I a worthy Jew, am I a good Jew, if my Judaism is enough, if not, whatever, like, a person that is a goy, that is from different nations, he, like, will, different things will bother him, will, will be matter to him, you know, it's like, we need to believe in ourselves. If you see that sparks of flaming love to the Torah, to the Holy Land of Israel are flaming within you, there is no second option except for that one. That you have a soul that is shining, light of Judaism, light of Torah, light of the land of Israel, that is probably promised to you as well through your holy ancestors from the tribes or from the tribe of Yehuda, that is the Jewish tribe. It's not really important from which tribe you came. The main thing that is important is that you are the one that you are and that your soul is loving and and desiring the Torah and the wisdom of the sages. So I think that it's very important because the majority of the people of Israel are not Jewish people. The majority, like 10 tribes that were forgotten and lost um, between the nations and most of them converted to, to, to Islam or to Christianity, they lost their way and they're not considered Jewish, but it does not mean that they're still not the children of Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, that they're not the children of the Holy Mothers, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Leah, and uh, Zilpah and Bilha, that were the other um, women of Yaakov that had four wives. So it's like, in reality, the majority of 10 tribes is larger than the amount of the 
two tribes, one and a half tribes of Yehuda and Binyamin, and few of the Levites and the Kohanim that stayed with the people um, of the kingship of Yehuda under the kingship of King David for another 1,000 years in the Holy Land, and then went out to exile. So the majority of the people of Israel are Israelites, are people that are not part of the Jewish nation, but they are part of the Israeli nation. The Jewish is not a nation. Jewish is a tribe out of 12. So most likely that you as a person, as a viewer, um, you're not Jewish, but it doesn't mean that you're not Israeli. It doesn't mean that your family does not have roots in the tribes of Israel. Gad, Asher, Levi, Issachar, Zvulun, Naftali, Ephraim, Menashe, and on. One of the tribes is, 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 is your root, and you should believe in that. And there is not much to do with it, because with you or without you, like with your good actions or without them, your soul is flaming. That's why you desire Torah. This is why... You find yourself so excited when you hear good things in the news about the land of Israel, about the people of Israel, and you're for them, and you're with them, and you're with us, and in body and heart, and like supporting and loving and caring. It's because that inside your soul, there are sparks of Israeli people. And it's not hard for you to understand how can it be. Like you can say, but my mother, she's not Jewish, but my father is not Jewish. Okay, no problem. But who told you that 500 years ago, a person that came and joined your family was not from the tribes of Israel? That 150 years ago, a person that got married with your great-grandmother was not uh, an Israeli soul from the tribe of Menashe, from the tribe of, of Ephraim, from the tribe of Binyamin, from the tribe of Asher, of Shimon, of Levi? Like, how can you say no? <laughs> and you can easily say yes when you see that inside of you those sparks uh, are the foundations of your being like that's that's who you are that's what you like that's that's how you wish to live your life so believe in yourself and you'll see wonders because mashiach will gather all the lost and forgotten ones and bring us all to the holy land of israel to see hashem in his house that will be called the house of prayer for all nations and everyone will come to call him in his name and to bow to him with great honor, love and truth in our days. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural world. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground, hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the Creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and you shall.